Dudes, I've got a really good story to tell you. You're probably wondering, what the fuck is Full Moon Freak Show Sanctuary? Well, here's what happened. So as you know, we are making these really cool pulp noir films in Cleveland, and some of them will be shot outside of Rome in Italy. And we've made some movies in Cleveland already, as you know, probably 10 over the last three years. And we just finished the first pulp noir movie, Quadrant, which I'm super excited about you guys checking out. Soon we'll have some material. Anyway, um, I realized some months ago that we really needed like a warehouse, not a huge warehouse, but something big enough to build some sets, to store props. Because originally uh, we purchased this huge, messed up, really formerly cool house in Cleveland. And that's where we shot a bunch of these movies. And then little by little, we shot them. We stayed there. Some of the actors stayed there. And then because we got more prolific in our plans, we're making seven movies there this year, we cleaned the house up to be much more of a, a residence for the actors and people who come into town. And then we've been using these amazing locations that are all over Cleveland. I mean, Cleveland is perfect. I want to keep this a secret, but I can't because Cleveland is perfect because there's so many turn of the century, old buildings and old houses and really cool stuff. Anyway, so the last show, Quadrant, that's what we did. We, we uh, the actors, uh, me, uh, Tom Calloway, our DP, Nikai Nelson, who line produces these shows, we all stayed at the big house and then we went out to location. But I realized some months ago that we really needed like our own little studio, uh, modest, but nonetheless, a place where we could, you know, do other things that you just can't find by renting a house or renting a warehouse or whatever. But speaking of warehouses, so my first thought was, all right, let's see if we can rent or buy a small warehouse somewhere near where we're all staying. And I went around and, you know, we looked at things and, you know, they're what you can imagine. They're, they're usually old. They're kind of creepy. It's basically four walls and a few offices, five to 10,000 square feet. And, you know, I looked at a bunch of those. They all made some kind of sense, not expensive because things in Cleveland are very affordable. Um, and then somehow the idea flew into my mind since Cleveland has all these, his, all these historical buildings that maybe we should find a historical building, a building that was big enough to do what we needed, but that would be cool, that would also lend itself maybe to some other shots. And a lot of those buildings are available. A lot of entrepreneurial people have bought these old buildings that had whole different you know, reasons for being back 100 years ago, and they've turned them into artist studios, they've turned them into restaurants, they've turned them into all sorts of stuff. So I looked around, and there wasn't really anything that made sense until someone said, you know, this may be tricky, but there's a church, because Cleveland has a lot of churches, and people have bought churches and turned them into other things, but there's this particular church that happens to be 10 minutes from where our house is that apparently is spectacular, uh, because of all the stonework, it, it was built in 1890, and there's an opportunity, even though like anything else, it's a little complicated, uh, to maybe purchase it in your budget range, and and maybe that's a good idea. And I'm thinking, frick, let's go, let's go check it out. So this is maybe some months ago now. So we checked it out. Of course, it's like a dream. Okay, it's in a nice area. It's across the street from a little vineyard, which is weird because it's still in pretty much downtown Cleveland. And went in there, and the place is, was abandoned five years ago. So a lot of things wrong with it. You know, there were leaks and structure, and but formerly all the woodwork, everything in there was just super cool. But it was like they all left in the middle of the night. Um, you know, still artifacts, religious artifacts, robes, uh, all sorts of stuff. So of course I'm looking at this like this is a dream. So then I talked to my guy Steve, who's helped us in. Cleveland with just about everything, including restoring the house we're all living in when we go there. And Steve said, oh, dude, this thing has got a lot of problems, uh, the leaks and the thing and the foundation. And it's the, the, but yeah, it's still there. It's a structure. It's 130 years old. And I said, well, for us, it's perfect. We're not going to restore this place and turn it into a, you know, a bar restaurant. We're going to use it almost like a warehouse and little by little clean it up and create areas that will help us during production. So after a few months and also it's a back and forth, not very interesting to tell right now, we were able, Full Moon was able to purchase this church. Uh, take my word for it, the price was ridiculous for even us, a tiny, tiny company. So we literally are 
five days ago, this, this closed escrow, this church, which we took as is, because <laughs> it's like, probably unsurable, un uninsurable. Uh, that's not true, but anyway, the place is really kind of a wreck in a good way. And Steve and his gang have started three days ago, Tuesday, to, the pro to begin the process of putting this thing together. So what that means is first we had to rip out a lot of old gross carpet. I mean, this place was a wreck. Um, and my idea was to take some of the rooms that were kind of open, close them up so we would have, um, you know, a, a room for cast, a wardrobe, makeup, a main office, a kitchen. I mean, the bathrooms there, there are four bathrooms. One is the better one, but still totally destroyed. The toilet broken up. We have to clean that up put in a proper shower, because needless to say, we cover actors in blood, so they need a place to wash off. So we prioritize the functional things we need to make this work so we can shoot in there. And the great and awesome coincidence here is the next movie we're shooting is called Death Streamer. And a third of that movie, or maybe half of that movie, takes place in an old fucked up church. So, I mean, that's the universe just being super kind to us. So. Yeah, in three weeks, three weeks from now, we'll be back in Cleveland shooting around town, and we will actually be shooting in our own church facility <laughs> um, the, the, the scenes that are required in this movie. So what I thought I'd do is um, I have some people over there who are uh, taping um, or shooting uh, material as this place is being put together. So it may be four or five similar episodes just like this one without the long intro where um, we will have um, you update you guys on what's going on. So this first collection of a compilation of images are literally, some of them were shot the day I first saw it driving up to the church, empty, messed up. And then some of these images are the first few days of work where Steve and his crew is ripping out carpet and cleaning up rooms and I think you guys will have fun watching this uh, as it progresses because we will take this in stages all the way until we're there in about three, four weeks shooting the scenes from our first movie. So anyway, enjoy all this and talk to you later. Ciao. Here it is. It's right across from a little vineyard, which is apparently a thing here. Anybody on the phone? Well, yeah. He's here right now. <laughs> I can't believe he's here. Work in the fireplace. Lots of woodwork. Mm hmm. Bit of a fixer upper.
basically where you see essentially those three openings with wood panel. We were closing all that off. So it would make a really super large makeup and wardrobe area. And access would be through this door. Also, it would be accessible from the bathroom, from a, from a side door, and from sort of the, the main headquarters area where the priest used to hang out. So this would be really large. Again, this would be all closed off, all closed off here. It'd be really big. doing to prep the space for the movie in this room? We're going to remove some of the pews, we're going to clean the room. We're going to box in those areas there. Cool. Anything upstairs? We're going to box in these openings. Okay. We'll put black carpet down and a couple round windows in the openings. This will become uh, like the director's meeting oh, room. Oh, cool. And exactly the office, maybe. Wow. So you gotta repair all the Ceilings like that? Yeah. Wow. Well, all in a couple weeks, yeah. three weeks. We're going to pull the carpet out of here, leave a couple pews in the back. This will be a general area for guests to come and watch the movie being made. Oh, wow. It's kind of a flood space right now. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs>